Philly Strong with Strong Adventures. What we're doing tonight is a bacon wrapped cheese and spinach stuffed turkey breast. It's gonna be for all you people that are out there on the road and don't have a oven big enough to make Thanksgiving dinner in. Check it out. We're fixing to hand it over to Rhonda here and she'll show you how to do it. Hi, Rhonda here with Strong's Adventures. Um, I'm gonna show you how to do this lattice work uh, bacon weave while Billy gets the coals ready and then we'll show you how to put that turkey together. Okay, so I've laid out some bacon on some parchment paper or wax paper um, and kind of lay them close together where they're touching. We don't want a bunch of gaps. And I don't know, I've got about seven pieces here. Uh, it depends on how big your turkey is. We have a three pound boneless turkey. And I'm just gonna start um, peeling back every other slice of bacon here. And then um, instead of being right on the edge, I'm gonna go in one width of a bacon slice. We'll lay those back. And then we're gonna grab the opposite ones, lay that back, and then we'll put one more bacon slice and that'll seal this end up and we'll head to the other side. Make sure they're pretty tight. All right, and then so then we wanna go on this side, the ones we just laid back, we're gonna lay those back down put these back grab another one we're gonna go the opposite slices now So we're just going to every other, every other, each one differently, and it doesn't take long to get it done. We just have to remember to keep it tight. And this parchment paper is going to make it so much easier for us to pick up in one piece. Almost there, one more slice and we'll have it done. Makes it really decorative. Not to mention tasty. And that was easy, huh? We'll just pick that up in one big whip here and put it right on top of that turkey breast once we get it all finished. We'll be back in just a minute to show you how to get that turkey breast done. Okay, so we've got our three pound boneless turkey breast that I've let thaw overnight. And it comes with this netting um, kind of holding everything together. I'm going to take this knife here. I'm going to cut a slit. I don't want to go all the way through, but I want to kind of butterfly it so we can get it to open up. And if you want to, you could pound that flat a little bit if you need to. We're not gonna worry about that. Okay, so we have our half a stick of butter and our two tablespoons of crushed garlic. And we're just gonna mix this together with a little bit of that seasoned salt. Our Italian blend cheese, we're gonna just sprinkle this along here. Just an estimate of about a cup. Okay, this is uh, thawed frozen chopped spinach and I just let it thaw out and then I only got half of a 10 ounce package because I'm not the biggest fan. 
So then I squeezed all the water out of it to make sure it was kind of dry. And I'm just going to put it down the middle here. And then uh, this morning we had some leftover bacon, so why not throw that in there? Bacon never ruined anything. Alright, so now we're going to roll this thing up. Basically just fold it in half because I didn't, I didn't pound it flat like some people do. Flip it over. Get our lattice work. And we had it on the parchment paper here, so it'll be real easy to swap it over on top of there. Peel this back. So I'm going to go ahead and pick this up and just put it on the trivet so that it will be easy to transfer. And that was simple. Alright, well we'll get this uh, fire ready to put it in the pot and we'll get back to you. Now I'm going to go ahead and preheat my oven. I know a bunch of y'all don't have this set up like I do. You just do what you're going to do with the coals. It'll be 31 coals. It'll be 10 on the bottom and 21 on the top. All right, let's get these coals dumped out onto our Dutch oven table. A little warm as you can tell. Set that baby over there because it's hot. All right, we're gonna get our turkey set down in here. And we'll get a close up of that. That's what the baby butter ball looks like sitting in the Dutch oven. Oh, you can even hear it now, sizzling. Bill Gowdy, look at the goodness. All right, we're gonna put the top on. Now, as I may have stated before, we're going to use 31 coals. We're going to use 21 on the top and 10 on the bottom. This is going to give us a 425 degree heat. So we'll get back to you in a minute after I start counting 31 coals. All right, so we've got our 10 on the bottom, our 21 on the top. We'll move the Dutch over on top of the 10. Put the bell down and we're going to give her a twist just to seal in the heat. Now this is going to take about two hours so we'll get back to you. Okay this is going to take about two hours to cook. These coals will not last that long so as you can tell over here on my table I keep extra coals. What I'm going to do is once they start getting to break down a little bit I'll just dump a few more in there. be ready to go when I need to replace the coals on the top. All right, so it's been about 45 minutes and as you can tell these coals are pretty much spent. We're gonna get rid of those. Sorry about the airplane. Better than my dogs barking though. As you can tell, see I have my coals going over here. Pick our lid up. Oh, can you see the turkey cooking? Might be a little ash on the lid, but that's okay. We're cooking outside. Spin it to lock it down. Just gonna recall. 
The reason you want to get the ash off, ash is an insulator. Ash will make your food take three times as long to cook. I'm telling you that as I drop more on there. So, let me get all these back around and then we'll get back to you. All right, it's getting kind of dark. It's been about an hour and 15 minutes. We will show you the finished turkey later on inside the house. We're doing the same thing that we always do. We turn every five, 10 minutes, you turn the pot one way, you turn the lid the other, just so that you keep the heat even. Now, in the middle of all doing this, the hour and 15 minutes, hour and 30 minutes, whatever it's taken, we've shot a video of some sausage sauce. It's called Z's. You need to go check that out. It's either gonna be up here, over there, maybe down there, or over there. I don't know because we don't know how to do this really good yet. All right, we're gonna cut into this bad boy. Oh, look at that. Done to perfection. Oh man, look at all that. I know my dogs are over there. They want some. Oh, I'm messing up Rhonda's nice bacon. Can't do that. That bacon, I need a piece of that right now. Mm. Oh yeah. Bacon's done. Turkey is Oh, done. So, look at that. Y'all get your meat and your veggies and a little bit of dairy in there. Give me that thumbs up. Subscribe, like, ring the bell. Give this stuff a try because it is awesome. Why the hell do you screw up a cobbler? It's a cobbler in a Dutch oven. I don't know. I don't make cobbler. I make cake.